This is the introduction to GSA state and local programs. It's going to be about a quick eight minute snapshot on the seven programs uh, that GSA currently has available to state or local governments to utilize. Now, later in the week, there's going to be more in-depth training on most of these topics. So if you see an area of interest that you have um, in the quick eight minutes, uh, please do make sure to go to the longer class later this week. Um, but I'm very excited because here in the room today we have um, panelists and program experts from all the programs to cover uh, the content. So without further ado, uh, the first four programs that we're going to talk about are based on the GSA schedules. Um, so before I jump into the programs, I wanted to explain just for 15 seconds what a schedule is so you know what we're talking about. Uh, a schedule contract is a five-year indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract. Uh, a schedule is a large grouping of similar, category of similar products and services. Um, when GSA awards a schedule contract, it's an open solicitation at all times. Um, we check past performance, we negotiate most favored customer pricing, we check financial responsibility of the schedule contractors. As those of you know who are schedule contractors, uh, it can be a quite lengthy process. I uh, wanted to show you a snapshot real quick. This is a picture from our GSA Schedule Z library, um, and I wanted to use Schedule 70 as an example of one of the 40-something schedules that GSA houses. Schedule 70 is our information technology products and services schedule. Um, and then within the larger category um, of a schedule, there are what are called special item numbers or SINs, which are more focused um, subcategories of products and services under the broader group. So for example, under Schedule 70, we have um, special item numbers for hardware, software, professional services, et cetera. Then I wanted to chat real quick about some of the features and benefits of utilizing schedules. Um, customers can see time savings in both the planning and acquisition process when they purchase through schedules. We have both local, local and global contractors on schedule. So if you're a state or local entity and you're looking for a contractor potentially in your backyard, um, it is possible that they do have a schedule contract. Um, there's a little chart to look at the, some of the more detailed features and benefits. We also have GSA representatives across the country that we call customer service directors um, that are located all across the country and are there to help our state and local and federal customers to learn more about schedules um, and our GSA e-tools. If you do not know your local customer service director, please get to know them. Um, they'll be wandering around the floor, working the booze, your hall monitors, introduce yourselves. Um, and if you don't know how to find that person, let me give you a website real quick. It's gsa.gov forward slash C as in cat, S as in Sam, D as in dog. Um, and that's how you find, you'll click on the map and be able to find your local customer service director.